I am barely awake. I'm just exhausted today. I don't know why. You would think I slept for three days, so it's like I would be doing much better. But I think the more I slept, the more I want to sleep. So I'm exhausted. You know, and then it doesn't help that I was up at 7 30 this morning to uh, go to this interview. So that's probably a major factor. But I still have to go home and catch up on all my superhero shows. So that'll be something that I do. And I probably won't play my game much. Uh, as you know, went to my interview today and I feel like I did pretty well. Uh, the rumor going around now is starting next week, a lot of the station postings will be cut. So a lot of people will just kind of be out of work, you know. Some people, I guess, will be moving to other sites and other locations, leaving this location, you know, well, at least this contract, a little light. Um, what that means for me, I don't know. I'll still be doing six days a week. But I may or may not still end up at my station. Something might change. They want to ship me off to a different station to accommodate. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find out. I know this much is I will know about my job on April the 10th. So they will announce if they're interested or not. And I'll have to go down for a live scan and fingerprinting, which is fine because, you know, to get a guard card, I had to have a, a, a live scan and a background check. So you won't find anything of substance there. So not concerned. And I'm left with the impression if I'm offered this job and it doesn't start until the middle of May, I will lollygag and bullshit my way through this job all the way up until it's time for my new job to start. I don't know. I've got a schedule here. I'll show it to you. See, this is my schedule here. But this is going to change next week. I'm fairly sure. So we'll see what happens. Like, I'll know by this weekend because this schedule ends on 4 9. So I will know about my new job by 4 10, which is this coming Monday. So, regardless to whatever happens here, I'll know what's going on with my new position come April 10th. Now, if I don't hear from them, I'm going to assume that things are just all bad, like something just didn't work out. But I've still got until May for them to decide to pick me up and let me come in. But I feel very confident in it. I'm comfortable knowing that I'm going to land this gig, so I'm not worried about it. My only concern now is if I will continue to be at Mather. This is my station, you know. Uh, I don't know if I'll still be here after next week. So there's going to be a whole internal shakeup going on. We'll see how it goes. But honestly, man, it's like we're at the tail end of it now. And I'm just trying to ride it out and see what happens. Let's, let's see where we go from here.